As I mentioned at the beginning of this workbook that you're working on with Sheets, it's most likely that your experience with Sheets is limited to your uh, collecting and using Google Form data from your students or colleagues, whatever else you're using the Google Forms for. Uh, what I'm going to share with you right now is a very, very simple way to make a sort of a checklist of, of who's completed things. Um, in order to get things set up here, I'm in this challenge 5A, uh, completion using roster. And what I have here is a default or a sample roster of my students. What I would do at the beginning of the year is I would make a very, very simple Google form. I would have it automatically collect the student email, uh, the UHSD account. I would ask students to type in their student ID number, select their class period, and type in their name. Once that's collected, I would go ahead and use the, um, the proper function to make sure that things were capitalized properly the way that I like it. Uh, I would format any links that I've collected so I can get back to those later, and I would go ahead and alphabetize it from A to Z. Now, in some cases, I may choose to make separate sheets for each section, or I may just use, use the filter and turn on and off whichever class period and keep it in one spot. So the next step would be uh, some point in the school year, I give students a Google form to do a reflection, to hand in a project or whatever else. And I would always ensure that I collect the email address of the student. Uh, the reason I'm going to do this for this, this uh, challenge is because if Google is collecting the email address, it cannot be mistyped. It can't be, you know, transposed wrong. It can't be forgotten by a student. It'll be automatically coming along for the ride. And I'm going to be using a feature called the match uh, function, which will be matching the email addresses, the things that students can't control or type in wrong to see who's done it and who hasn't. So what we're looking at right now here is the sample roster. Okay. Uh, in challenge 5B, I have a sample of a form that I made and students hypothetically submitted to it. Uh, and then I had a second Google form, which I called 5C. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go up to my headings and I'm going to call this one form 5B. I'm going to call this one form 5C. Okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to use what's called the, the, the function of match. And I would type in equals match and open my parentheses. I'm going to be working with the email address column. So I'm going to select column A, comma. And I'm going to go to form 5B, which is what I'm trying to track. And I'm going to match it against the email address that's automatically collected there. And then I would just go ahead and comma zero. That's just like a formatting thing uh, in the formula. What's going to happen now is this, this thing turns green and there's a two. If I drag it on down all the way to the bottom of my roster from A to Z, what's going to happen is you're going to notice here there's different numbers that are put in. Some are in green, some say NA. The NA means that a student did not complete it. And the uh, green number is actually the row where it is on Form 5B's uh, submission sheet. So say, for instance, uh, Dalton was to go in last minute and do his form. I'll just copy his email address. And we'll just trick out the form real quick. So Dalton, we'll just put him at the bottom. He did the form. And when I go back, you'll see that Dalton now is line 35, right here. Okay, and of course, this would be completed properly. If I wanted to go ahead and do form 5C, same idea, equals match. Select the email address as my common key. I'm going to go to my form 5C. Select the emails there, comma 0, and hit Enter. I would go ahead and drag this one on down. And as I'm going to see here, not so many people completed this compared to the first form. And at least this way, uh, if I'm tracking work, I can see who's done it, who hasn't done it. Uh, maybe I'm working on something collaboratively across campus, and I really want to make sure I got someone's response for, you know, maybe a program he or she works with or insight that's important. I can just give myself a nice little visual cue of how it is. You also notice here that I made things green. Uh, what I did here is I just highlighted like everything over in this area and I just highlighted way too much information and I went to format, conditional formatting, and if the cell wasn't empty, I just made it turn green. And so that's how I did that. So at least that way visually I can see what's done and what isn't done. This isn't a grade book, but it could be a nice way just to account for who has completed things in a much easier way than sifting through everything. Thanks for watching.